Humphrey, you ready for your haircut? Show everyone your before, because you're going to be looking cute in a few hours. You ready? Okay, let's go. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlogs. So it is Saturday, March 27th. I just dropped off Humphrey to get his grooming done. It is 9 a.m. and I am on my way to get some tattoos done. I want to get two tattoos. I know for sure I want to get one of them. The second one, I'm going to go there and see if the tattoo artist can make like a little sticker and put it on my body to see how it looks. And if I think it looks good, then I'm going to get it. I've been wanting to get these tattoos for the longest time. And I figured since I'm leaving Houston, I might as well do it because I finally found a good fine line tattoo artist so I don't like bulky tattoos I definitely like really minimalist dainty fine line tattoos so that's what I'm gonna get my ex assistant is the one who hooked me up with this guy I'm actually gonna go with her because we used to talk about our love for minimalist tattoos all the time so I figured why not do it with her so I'm just gonna go meet her there right now and then it's back to packing I need to get some of those Home Depot closet storage boxes which have the rod them so I can just hang my clothes on there I'm hoping I can do that and then I'm gonna go sort through some other clothing that I don't want to take with me that I can donate or possibly sell so I don't have to lug it all the way with me to Austin and then also some of my friends are coming over later I have to do packing and seeing my friends simultaneously because I don't have time to do both so it's just basically a busy day of packing and errands I suppose I'll see you guys in a minute just got my tattoos I wanted to share with you so this is a little smiley face oh my god how am I gonna show this to you there we go this is a smiley face that I got on a whim with Bella we just thought it's really cute so we just got it I think this is my one spontaneous tattoo that I'm gonna get in life it's funny the tattoo artist was laughing at me he's like sure it's your one spontaneous one we'll see and then I got this one that I've been thinking about for way too long it's a rose the rose represents life and then the leaves represent me, Rami, and Humphrey. And I thought it's really cute. Love the placement of it. Love the placement of this one too. I wanted to get a third one and it's a French phrase that means the joy of life or the enjoyment in life, I believe. I wasn't sure if I wanted this, so that's why I did not get it. It's just the ink. So I'm gonna think about it and if I like it, I'll go back and get another one. I'm so happy I found a fine line tattoo artist in Houston. So thank you, Bella, for recommending him to me he is amazing and I really thought that he did a really good job and he knows exactly what I wanted because he was able just to copy this straight from a photo and he did a really great job might be getting this not sure yet what do you guys think yes or no let me know in the comments because I'm kind of going back and forth about it but I really do like it I love the cursive on it too Okay, I think I've got the situation a little bit in control. All of my clothes that I wear all the time are in there. And then I have my winter clothes. Isn't that crazy? All of this is just my winter clothes, the tiniest bit. I think I'm seriously starting to downsize. Like this has all my thermals. It has two windbreaker jackets, scarves, hats. And then over here, I have all of my makeup that is giving me so much anxiety. I think I'm gonna repack this because this is just not how I wanna do this. My sister-in-law came and bless her heart she wants to help me but the OCD in me is telling me to look through everything before packing it and just throwing it all in boxes because that's where I'm gonna get into trouble and then this is a little goodie bag basket that I'm making for all my friends whoever's gonna come see me they can get whatever they want from in there this is a very convenient box this is what I asked Rami to get me so now I can just take all my stuff and leave it on the hangers and put it away we're trying to see if this box can actually withhold 
all the heavy clothing because sometimes clothing rods cave in, but I'm hoping. Well, it's the box that's the problem. Not yeah, the, I know. Not the rod. The rod no, is no. strong. I know that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's, it might like cave in because of the weight, but. I think you just can't overload it. But what could be cool too is if I just folded some things and put them in there too. And then that way you're not wasting space. This is actually really convenient. We put all of these clothes on there, but now we lifted it and realized we can actually fit more in. So it's not as flimsy as I thought it would be. I don't know why on the internet people have rated it badly because they said the box caved in. Maybe they just didn't move it properly. But it's definitely, it's built in a way where if you do load it too much with heavy stuff, like it will cave in. It'll so, cave in, I mean, yeah. Because it's only cardboard. There's a seam, yeah, I mean, it's cardboard and like there's a seam here. The way this is sitting, if it is too heavy, like the oh, box yeah, will start right. to bend. So you do that's have to right. be careful with how much stuff you put in there or what, how heavy the stuff is at least. Right. Oh my god, this is giving me life. Rami and I were laughing about how moving as an adult is completely different from when you're moving as a college yeah, you student. Remember when, remember when everybody used to be like, hey dude, come help me move and I'll buy you dinner. <laughs> or I'll buy you, I'll get a pizza and we'll have pizza. And then you're just like throwing like, everything yeah, in the back of a once van. You, once you get to a certain <laughs> age, it's like, bro, it's not worth the risk of hurting myself for a pizza. <laughs> and also you're like throwing everything in there like an extreme sport. This is like so much more organized, like, I remember this makes me really packed, happy. Yeah, other than furniture, I remember packing my whole car like, to the brim with all my stuff. And then moving it all myself. <laughs> it's like a whole day event. Yeah, and then you don't know where anything is. This is so much more organized. We are off to our first engagement of our moving season, which is essentially one week. We have lunches and dinners planned every single night until we move from now on. The first dinner is with my roommate from college and his husband. I'm very excited to see them because I don't see them very much, but every time I see them, we pretty much just pick up exactly where we left off. So I'm excited to see them. We're gonna have some Chinese food. Tattoos are doing okay. The rosebud is burning a little bit, but the tattoo artist said not to put any aquaphor on it until tomorrow. So I'm just gonna do that. Smiley face is doing well. Nothing's happened to it. I think I need to name the smiley face, by the way. So if you guys have any names for this little guy hanging around or my wrist just spreading positivity, let me know. But I also wanted to show you. So when I got married to Rami and then we bought our first townhouse, my roommate, when we bought our home, gave us this champagne. So we bought our home when Rami in 2000 and... We moved in in 2013. So in 2013. So he gave us this bottle of champagne that's from 2000. I don't think you can see. So the champagne is from 2000 and he gave it to me in 2013. So it's already like 13 year old champagne. And then I never opened it. And I'm gonna open it today, 21 years later, with my roommate. Because I thought, you know what, I'm leaving. I don't know when I'm gonna open the champagne, so might as well just open it with him, have a little fun before we leave uh, Houston. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Is champagne better aged? I don't know, actually. I feel like it would be just like wine, but I'm not sure. I'm not refined enough, so I don't know. I don't um, know. I actually, I don't know either now. Now I'm just like second guessing myself, but it's okay. I'm just gonna talk to you guys tomorrow because tonight I'm probably gonna be wasty and it's not gonna be good for you too. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to get her to get on the camera later to show you um, a little bit of how crazy she is, but we'll see. Oh my god, we'll, we'll see, see. we'll see. If not, just know I had a great time, but I'll see you guys in the morning. Getting greeted by some peacocks looking into my window right now. Yep, we have peacocks in our neighborhood. They just roam everything, trying to look for some food. There are no flowers for them to eat today. Good morning guys, it is Sunday and I just woke up. I'm having some lemon water because we've been drinking too much. I need to cleanse my liver. And then Rami and I are heavily packing our bedroom right now. I'm starting to Marie Kondo my entire wardrobe. I'm actually quite proud of myself that I've been able to really scale down on what I'm taking with me. I'm taking out a bunch of things right now. I'm on a roll, so I just wanted to show you how I'm packing it all up. Let's go. I know this looks insane, but it's an organized mess you guys so that is everything i'm not taking with me that is some stuff i'm like giving away or i'm just gonna have my family look through and then this is all stuff that i just need to sort through 
again. Oh my god, I don't even know where to begin. So my clothes are all in there. Rami's hanging his clothes in there now. These things are packed and ready to be put into boxes. But first, I think what I'm gonna do is make my bed because when you make your bed, everything just looks so much cleaner. And then I will start sorting again. I think we've got a pretty good handle on my side of the closet. I just need to be working on my shoes now. And Rami, what are you doing? I'm gonna try <coughs> to vacuum seal some stuff for just for packing so we can fit it in smaller boxes. So like that way I can fit all of my clothes into one suitcase. Nice. Rami yeah, doesn't needs, have the fancy clothes she boxes. Needs, she needs like 10 boxes for all of her clothes. I just need But I think suitcase. she, this is all Rami's stuff. No, this, this is my stuff. Out of all these three boxes. <laughs> okay, but also I know those Ziplocs. They're not intended for long-term storage. So what happens is, and I learned we learned this lesson firsthand is, if you try to store stuff in there like long-term, what happens is it, it just can gets actually, like a so bad depending smell. on the type of stuff, it can actually ruin some types of cloth. But even like cloth that won't ruin because of it, what it does is it starts to develop this like smell. Yeah, so it's that's like, what happened with our bedding. It's not like a moldy smell, but it's like a it's not like a horrible smell, but it's definitely a smell. And then I was reading about it, and what it is is the plastic over time like will start to deteriorate and like release like whatever Fumes plastic or whatever. releases, yeah. and then it like gets into the cloth in the clothing. And you're storing stuff in here long term, you need to periodically open it and like let it air out. Yeah, but this is more back. for just like space saving if you need yeah. to fit a lot of things in your suitcase. Yeah, so I have, my best friend actually uses this kind of stuff all the time when he packs for like big trips. It's so like that way he can fit like more stuff. In, in one suitcase. suitcase, yeah, that's a good Which idea. Which is kind of like, that's kind of what it's intended for, or short term storage where like you're storing stuff for like a few months yeah. and then you're gonna open it up. Yeah. So. And then this, I am very happy with myself. This entire box of clothes, I'm gonna have my family look through because I definitely cannot keep these anymore. Good morning, guys. So this day, I think, is the worst in terms of packing because I don't know if you can tell, there is stuff everywhere and now it actually looks like we're moving because the first few days it didn't look like it but it's happening now rami's parents are over they're all eating lunch outside in the patio so i figured i would take this opportunity to vlog and show you guys what's happening it, the house is pretty much turned upside down i'll give you a little tour and show you what we're doing kitchen packing is in progress over here bubble wrap everywhere we actually managed to empty out our pantry, all the cabinets and drawers are empty. Just need to put this stuff away. We still need to get stuff out of the drawers over here. All of the decor is packed. Rami and I actually did all of this yesterday ourselves. And then our bedroom as well is kind of gone crazy. There is stuff everywhere, which you've actually kind of seen. And we've like emptied out everything. House is a mess. Packing is in full swing at this time because it's Monday and we leave on Wednesday. Crazy.
trying to decide if I should keep these. Does anybody still use CDs? I was like, hell no, Rami. What but are you doing with There's some with good those? ones, though. See, there's one that was made for Sarah when she became a U.S. citizen. Oh, my God. Or actually, this is when you came back to America. <laughs> they made this for you, my cousin. This one is a CD my old girlfriend in high school made for me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Add an eye roll emoji to that one. And then this one is just me being a nerd. What is it? Dallas String Quartet. Oh my. It's good though. Rami, I think you're bordering on hoarder another, status. Another Dallas String Quartet. No. Foo Fighters. No. Foo Fighters. Rami, who's? What are we? When are we listening to this? Okay, this is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> Glee season one, disc one. <laughs> no. I kind of want to keep them, but nobody uses CDs anymore. Anyway. No. It's not the new, ca new cars don't even come with CDs, do they? CD players? No, I don't think so. And then this one was Dean's old one. I don't know how I have it. He used to like this band, Girl Talk. Oh, I don't they know They do like that is. mix. It's like a, like they mix different music together. Oh. I think all these are going in the trash can. Yes, I think so too. Meanwhile, Humphrey is hiding from the light. Poor little baby isn't feeling too good. He's developed a little bit of a cough. So I boiled some broccoli and I gave it to him in the hopes that the vitamin C is gonna heal his little body. I hope you don't wake up with a cough tomorrow, little one. Super snuggled up right now. Meanwhile, my closet has been emptied. I'm very happy. I'm gonna get those rings and those shoes. I'm actually gonna wear them to a dinner on Tuesday, so I'm just having them out, but it's the end of an era. My one jacket that's hanging, which I'm also gonna wear on Tuesday. And then these shoes I'm actually going to leave behind tomorrow. My mother-in-law is coming to help us pack. And I'm just gonna tell her, do what you want with these. I don't want to see them. So she's just gonna deal with them. Maybe she can just put them in a box and take them to Goodwill. We've also made pretty good headway today. We're still packing. We've packed all these boxes and majority of our closets today. And then in here, we just have a little bit of stuff. We're gonna keep the sectional here because we're trying to sell it with the house and we're trying to sell the projector with the house as well. And then all the little stuff is just gonna be picked up by the movers. I just need to decide if I'm gonna keep the pillows or not. And then in the bar, we emptied out a little bit of the bar, but then I think Ron Mommy's parents are gonna come by tomorrow and help us pack all this decor. My hair is totally crazy. I haven't even had a chance to brush it since I woke up and showered this morning. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you so much to you guys for watching the vlogs, for supporting me. It truly means the world to me. I'll be back to regularly scheduled programming once I get to Austin. But for now, I'm just gonna be uploading vlogs to keep you guys updated on my life. I appreciate you guys watching and being here with me on on this journey and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Take care.